talking about gloves and uh, seeing how to go ahead and start working with them. Uh, first thing we want to do is we want to get uh, testing set up uh, for the Daedric gloves. So we're going to go into double click on your Daedric uh, shortcut in game and go ahead and just set it off to the side. Actually, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> go uh, into your UMP custom armors, go to data, meshes, armor, Daedric, and now we're going to want to uh, go ahead and add the Daedric gloves into our main root Daedric folder for testing. Uh, so go into your Skyrim mesh. Uh, drag it off to the left and go to meshes, armor, daedric, and we got to find our daedric gloves. Should be daedric gloves F underscore zero. Hold down control, click both of them, hit control C, and then go into our UMP customers and hit control V. So now we have something to work with. All right, and you can go ahead and close both these windows for now. Alright, now that we're in 3ds Max, let's go ahead and import the female hands. So go to your import, drop down the lists, go to your UMP custom armors, data, meshes, base body mesh, and select female hands F, or well, female hands underscore zero, and press open. And you want the skeleton, so go ahead and import that. Now, uh, you were probably thinking, you know, that gloves were going to be something that was going to be really hard because of all the little fingers and the bones inside the fingers, maybe not uh, assigning right whenever we do the skin wrap. <coughs> uh, <coughs> but the good thing is, is actually it's exactly the opposite. Gloves are really easy to do uh, with uh, slight complications, of course. Uh, as you already know that when you export hands, generally the one on, I think it's the left side, uh, or the right arm, rather, when you export, if I were to just export these hands and try to put it in game, you'd notice there'd be like a gap right here, which can be fixed in NIF scope if you really wanted to go through and set all of the rotations for all the bones in this arm, but uh, it's just best when making gloves to make sure you make the gloves slightly above this wrist part so it covers that up. You know, or put something right here uh, and if you don't you know and you wanted to make something right around the hands you know like some kind of just a little wrist wrap or, or something small that doesn't cover this you need to transfer it over from the hands in NIF scope to the original hands like we do with the body uh, if you recall we moved the armor over from the uh, one we exported from 3ds over to the one that we didn't export from 3ds the original so you do the same exact thing with hands you know you'd match up the ni uh, node uh, root name for both folders and then you can move stuff over just like you know the bbe female 2 uh, text name that we change in the ni node 0 it's the same thing with hands it's identical there's no difference between doing hands and doing the body except for uh, the BS dismembers. Alright so let's say I wanted to make gloves and I didn't want to have to form all these little fingers. Well the fastest way to go about that is to actually use these hands and turn these hands into gloves. Now if you zoom in real close you'll notice that these hands are really boxy. They're not smoothed out or anything. I'll explain why that is. That has to do with the normal map. Um, the normal map for textures can make hands uh, not look like they're all boxy like this. Like I can take a really boxy mesh and make it look like a high def, very high vertice count mesh with a normal map. We'll get into all that when we get into texturing. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're just going to use these hands and we're going to turn them into gloves. Uh, so to do that, first thing, we're going to take these hands that we already have and we're just going to freeze these, right? And then we're going to import up to file and import. We're going to import the hands a second time, right? So select to your female hands underscore zero and select open. Deselect import skeleton. So now we have two sets of our hands. Don't worry if this pops up you can maybe change the name to gloves if you want when it says import name conflict and then select OK. And you don't have to though. You could just select OK. It will not affect anything. All right now we have two sets of hands. Well this set of hands we want to turn into gloves. We're going to right click on it. We're going to convert it to an editable mesh. Now I'm going to go to my vertices and, well, I don't want it to be that boxy because we haven't covered normal maps. So we're going to, you know, kind of zoom over everything. And we're just going to, or sorry, go to editable poly, convert it to an editable poly. Then go to vertices, select all the vertices, and uh, get down to your, uh, in here in geometry, you want to select M smooth. Now there are these really smooth hands. Oh wait, you know what, I think I screwed that up. Hit Control Z if you did that and uh, weld everything first. Go back over and 
should be a weld right here and just spam this a few times all right and then you should be good now go ahead and hit M smooth and now that we have these really complex hands they'll be rounded so we can right click and select hide unselected and uh, they should be pretty rounded and we can also uh, no, this is good to work with that should be good nobody's gonna notice that it's even slightly a little boxy um, you could uh, do not hit M smooth too many times or you'll blow these things up and it will not export you can weld it some more if you want welding is always a good trick to uh, before you M smooth something to make sure that pieces don't break apart especially if you were like doing cloth you'd wanna weld all the vertices before you smooth them out or you're gonna have some problems uh, then I'll go ahead and I'll see what happens when I throw a smooth sometimes you can check to see if you can get stuff a little smoother oh yeah there we go that smooth modifier made all the difference. Now I'll just go ahead and uh, right click them and convert them to an editable mesh. And then I'll ver verify that all the vertices are welded. I'll just go over here and spam my weld, get my little window to pop up. Okay, I'm happy. Now, technically, I know these already have a texture on it, but take a look at this. I just hit M on my keyboard for a material editor, throw a material on there, and here we go. I got a pair of gloves. You can notice that there's no fingernails on it. It just looks like a pair of gloves. Yeah. You can't even tell that these were regular hands. Now they're gloves. You could if you wanted to. Um, before you M smooth it and everything, you'd select, you know, in polygon, and you can um, use the little extrude right here. I wouldn't do it now because we've already smoothed it and you'll probably crash 3ds Max. You'll want to do something like that, or you can. Um, select one at a time and maybe just scale them out a little bit so I'd select just one hand all these and then I would just hit scale and I can scale the hand a little bit bigger than the original was you don't want to make your gloves too big or they're gonna wind up looking stupid alright in game your character will look like she has man hands so you don't want to do that it's a bad idea alright um, now again like I said if I were to export this, you know, there would be a gap, and that's not fixable because we're going to actually be deleting the original hands, and this will be our gloves. Uh, so cover this up with something, or make sure that this goes above that. And if you're not going to do that, you want to keep your original hands, and you're just going to uh, do it just like you would with the torso body. All right, you transfer it over in NIFScope after you export. All right, so now the uh, other important thing to do is now we got to get these gloves wrapped to the original hands. So I have it converted to an editable mesh and our other hands are still in here so I'm going to right click and select unhide all. Now sometimes this can be problematic. Alright good I can see them right here on the wrist. You can see the gloves. You got to find a spot that you can kind of poke through and see your original hands. Um, I should have extruded these. I'm going to shrink them back down. But right click and uh, unhide all. And now I need to set these to something so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to throw a smooth on them like we did before so I'm just gonna throw my smooth on it hit a 2 and I'm gonna do my skin wrap and I'm just gonna wrap these to the original hands uh, let's do face deformation weight all points add and oops right click then freeze all now I can wrap them add the original female hands all right, now I have the hand female third. Uh, now whenever um, you throw the BS dismember, so I'll, I'll convert this to a skin because now that's done. I can right click, delete that, take the skin, throw a BS dismember skin modifier, select all everything, and this is important. All right, so if they're the actual hands, you know, we're talking fingers and digits, you got to set it to Skyrim hands one or in many of your cases it's Skyrim comma hands L slash R alright so that would be how you do just the hands alright now let's say I wanted to put a pair of bracers or something that is not the actual digits on this hand I would set anything else that I put on the hands that are not the actual fingers is gonna be Skyrim hands 2 or it's gonna be Skyrim comma forearm L slash R all right, so if it's not the actual hands, it's Skyrim forearm or Skyrim hands two in my case. So, for example, let's say I created a pair of bracers, and I go over here and I select this cylinder, right, and I just make a quick cylinder. I'll try to do this fast before I run out of time on the video. 
Hey, you know, I stretch this cylinder up. Let's say this is a pair of bracers, right? And I'll just right click it real fast and convert it to a poly. I'm just showing you as an example. I delete the bottom and I'm not going to make this detailed or anything. This is just an example. And then I uh, right click and I move this. Oh, this is actually kind of important too. I'm glad I'm actually showing you guys this. So uh, select this. All right. And here, here's something important to note. Let's say I'm putting these, this is going to be part of the gloves, right? But the thing about this is that it's not really close to the hands. It's more closer, it's more of it is overlapping the body than is overlapping the hands. So there's, like, let's say this is my bracers. I know they're not that special, but, and, I, and they actually cover more of the body would be in here than the hands. And this is going to be part of the glove, you know, once I shape it. Well, I wouldn't want to skin wrap this to the hands. I'd want to skin wrap it to something that's closer to its location. So I would want to go up here, select uh, import, import the female body underscore zero. You know, I don't want the skeleton because I already have it. And just give it a minute. The body's large, you know that. Just give it a second. Now, even though these are going to be part of the gloves, I can skin wrap these to the body. I can just convert this to an edible mesh like after it's all shaped. You know, I've already shaped it and everything. And I drop down and I hit my skin wrap modifier. So I go to skin wrap, face deformation, weight all points. I'm, even though I'm going to be exporting this, it's going to be the gloves. They're going to be skin wrapped because it's closer to the body than it is the hands. I'd rather skin wrap it to something that fits its shape better. So I go ahead and skin wrap it to the body, convert it to a skin delete the skin wrap. You know, I would have put a smooth on here if this was actually a real thing, and then you know the routine. I do a skin wrap, then I do a BS Dismember Skin Modifier, oops, which is at the top, and uh, select everything on it. Now here's the thing, this is not digits, it's not fingers. Even if it was just a piece of string going around the hand or the wrist, you wouldn't set it to Skyrim Hands 1 because it isn't the actual hands. You would set it to Skyrim Hands 2. Okay, so anything that's not the actual fingers and digits is Skyrim Hands 2. Or, like I said before, in many of your cases, it would be Skyrim, comma, forearm, L slash R. And uh, these would be good, you know, I could actually export this from 3DS Max and this hand would appear in-game. I mean, there would be no problem. Of course, you'd want to, before you exported, whoops, you'd want to, um, You'd want to select the body, and uh, you'd want to go ahead and delete it, and then you'd want to select the original hands, which I need to make sure that I got them. That's the thing, when you export the hands, make sure you export the right ones. Uh, these were the originals, hands female third, and I would just delete those. Now I got my gloves, and I got my cylinder, I could go ahead and export these. Now when you export the gloves, there's not going to be anything special. You'd export them like you would any other part that we've covered already. You'd just export them, and then you'd go ahead and you'd take them from your, you know, your Daedric Test 1 folder that you exported them to. Just hit Control c and drop them into your Skyrim. You know, you double-click Daedric Shortcut and drop them in here so you could test them out in-game. Alright, now here we are in-game. As you can see, I've already finished off my gloves uh, with that cylinder, and I set it to Skyrim Hands. Uh, two for the cylinder and the actual hands. I set them to Skyrim hands one. Now if you look, I did a little editing to my hands. I made the fingers tips kind of go sharp looking, which you can do before you skin wrap it. You just kind of, you know, take vertices and make them look a little different. You can even add stuff to the hands. But remember, if they're not the actual fingers, it, you got to set it like you would to the bracers. It'd be Skyrim forearm for many of you, or in my case, it's Skyrim hands two. Uh, and also, you know, I had these le the leather straps on it and these buttons and that buckle. All those went to the Skyrim forearm, or in my case, Skyrim hands uh, too. So that's all there is on hands. Like I said, gloves are really easy to do. And uh, they're actually one of my more favored pieces on the armor to put together.